Hey, what's going on, people of God? This is Brother Brian Love has a name YouTube channel. Thank you for dropping on by. Today is September 1st, 2023. We have crossed over, praise God, into a new month. The Lord is beginning to do new things. He is bringing more clarity. He's been bringing more fiery prophetic words. And I almost didn't know which word I wanted to bring you today. There are so many in line that I want to bring you. We got a couple of Hank Kunnamans in the queue over the next week or so. Uh, Amanda Grace. Uh, tonight, I want to give you a Lana Vassar prophetic word. This one is dated August 21st, 2023. And I was just looking it over. Even just the title itself is just igniting my spirit. And I believe this will further encourage you. So I wanted to bring this one to you tonight. <laughs> Thank you for all of you who joined me already for the first day out of 30 days. The month of September has 30 days. The first day out of 30 days that I will be coming to you uploading, uh, depending on where you are, on my time, East Coast time, between 9 a.m. and 12 noon. I will be uploading every single day a video of me praying in unknown tongues, my heavenly language, uh, because the Lord prompted me and actually made it very clear for me to do it. I just didn't really realize the why. Now that's been progressive in terms of understanding, but I'm already seeing things unfold and I'm already reading the comments. Those of you who haven't um, participated or maybe you weren't aware of it, that's okay. Just look at the video before this. I'm going to have the same thumbnail, except it's going to say, you know, day two of 30, day three of 30, etc. As I continue this and the Lord wants me to help you stir up this spiritual discipline, this spiritual habit, as well as getting your, uh, your tongues to elongate and um, to extend past what uh, past the syllables that you've had before. Those of you who haven't been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, it's for you to <clears throat> be encouraged, build up your faith, as well as practice and go and to go ahead and just pray with me. Amen. Quick heads up as the Lord is reminding me now, tomorrow, um, Saturday, September 2nd, uh, I believe tomorrow is when Diana Larkin will upload the interview that she did with me where I teach in in depth. I'm talking in depth about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, 20 different benefits. In fact, um, even after the interview, two more benefits <laughs> uh, were brought up to me by the Holy Spirit. But you're going to get the 20 there and I'm going to go into seven levels uh, layers of tongues that the Lord revealed to me directly. And I go ahead and explain that, give lots of testimony. So check that video out this weekend. <laughs> that same video I'm going to upload here on my channel, most likely around Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, uh, because I know it's Labor Day weekend. You know, many people are just hanging out with families from what I've seen. Um, the uh, viewing videos isn't always as high. So I want to you know, give you time to enjoy with your families as well as give you time to get back to work and whatnot. So look for it around Tuesday, Wednesday next week uh, here on this channel. And I strongly suggest grabbing a notepad and writing things down. Uh, even I am in like shock and awe in a, in a good way, not in the natural way, in a supernatural way. I'm shocked and awe by the revelation that the Lord speaks through that video and that teaching, and it's going to help you. Amen. Two years ago, I did a teaching on baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's under my live tab. Look under the YouTube channel. Look under the live. Scroll all the way down. It's the second video I, I ever did. That is a long teaching as well. Um, at that point, I think it was only 12 benefits of praying in tongues. And at the end, I prayed <coughs> for impartation and several people in the comments, if you go back and read, did receive their tongues. So the Holy Spirit is moving, is working. Now, two years um, later in the present, now the teaching, the benefits have increased. The Lord has shown and revealed more. And I'm so excited to hear all the testimonies, not only on Diana's uh, upload and in the comments, but here as well when I upload. So that's the intro. It's very important for me to mention. So that's why I'm mentioning this announcement. All right. Now, 
let's uh, let's read to you the title of this prophetic word. We're going to invite the Lord and we're going to read it together so we can be joined and synergized in the Holy Spirit. We can feed off of one another. We can elevate our our expectation, our faith, our anticipation of the Lord. Spiritually speaking, if you can handle it, we're going to elevate our frequency, our the because faith is a substance okay you have to understand everything in this world has a frequency and has a sound if you listen to robin bullock you understand this and so this is part of the kingdom realm of god all right there's nothing spooky about it it just the enemy has twisted it so you might think it it, it is a certain way but no he just takes and steals from the lord amen so this is the pure way i've expressed it i've explained it before so let's not be freaked out about it. Amen? All right, let's get ready to pray. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for this word we're about to receive. Thank you for this new day, Lord. We have stepped over into a new month, and we are ready, Father. Even if we don't know what's coming, Lord, we're saying, Lord, we're ready because we're with you. And with you, there is no fear. Oh, with you, we have peace. Help us to access this, Lord God. Help your people, Father, who struggle to step into that realm of peace. Help them, Father. Let the spirit of rest invade their souls, O God. Let them increase in the love of God, for that changes everything. We thank you for the powerful prophetic words that are coming forth. I thank you for the wonderful people of God that are subscribing to this channel. And I thank you for this word we're about to receive with an open heart and an open spirit so that you can pour into us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our wonderful Lord. Amen and amen. Uh, yes, okay. I knew there was something the Lord was reminding me of. For any of you who are new and you've just subscribed recently, please say hello in the comments below. Just say, hey, I'm new or hello, nice to meet you, something like that. I will personally respond. I do my best to try to respond to everybody. At the very least, read your comment, give you the thumbs up and a little heart, uh, as long as, you know, it's a nice comment. <laughs> so anyway, don't waste your time if it's negative because uh, it's just a waste of your time. And uh, I only spend my time on the sheep, those who want to know about the Lord, those with good intentions, and you'd be surprised what the Lord shows me all right so don't waste your time don't waste my time hallelujah this prophetic word is called you will come back 10 times stronger the lord spoke to lana Vassar, and this is the way it goes i have really been feeling the lord's heart again lana says so strongly for those who have been feeling like they have been beaten down by the enemy and circumstances the lord showed me Many of God's people who have been beaten from every direction by opposition and circumstances and have felt like they stand up and get knocked down again. As I listened to his heart for his precious children, I heard him whisper and his whisper over these ones was, you will come back 10 times stronger suddenly the sense around me oh thank you god the sense around me of a major increase oh somebody say i receive it come on a major increase acceleration and strengthening a major shift taking place in their lives through the empowerment of the holy spirit Oh, I got to pause right there. I know that was just the intro, but the Lord is speaking through her that she felt a major shift. And what is so awesome is that recently, oh, thank you, Lord. <clears throat> recently, I think it was Wednesday night, August 30th, um, a sister in Christ and someone else sent me. Uh, oh, no, I saw it on YouTube as well. Hank Kuhneman recently had a prophetic word. Oh, my Lord, that one is so powerful. So I'm adding that to the queue. I'm going to bring that to you within the week because there's a, I try to do things in order. Otherwise, I might skip one and forget to share it. And I, I like to be diligent and organized as best I can. I got to bring this word to you. 
God spoke into September, October, and November. Now, there wasn't extreme details or anything, but a powerful, authoritative voice, an anointing, like the one that Pastor Prophet Hank Kuhnman has, is to be heeded. Because the Lord has been fulfilling time after time what God has been speaking through him, despite the naysayers who don't spend enough time listening and waiting and just want to talk back. Those are the demons speaking through them because they're obviously too lazy to actually search the matter out and see that God is fulfilling. So, shame on them. Praise the Lord. So, in that word, Hank Kuhneman, by the Spirit of the Lord, was speaking of a major shift, us having, uh, of us having stepped into September. So that goes in line already with this word. All right, let me continue. Lana says, There is a significant engagement with the power of God that is taking place and will continue to take place for those who have felt beaten down and hit in every direction. The enemy may have thought he knocked you down, but your comeback planned by the hand of God is going to leave the enemy very sorry that he ever messed with you. Whoa. Yes, God. That is something that I say regularly, that I, that I reflect on regularly. The enemy is going to pay, especially when you know that he is doing things coming against you and you use your words of faith and you use your authority and you decree and declare recompense to come forth. God is a just God. We have to learn to partner with him. And that includes with our words, speaking life, speaking things in alignment with his word, with his revealed will, and by faith as well. Not speaking negativity, not speaking doom and gloom, not speaking what the devil is doing and this person is doing because that is all from hell. Don't let your perspective affect your words because then you get skewed, then you get turned, uh, pushed to the left and to the right, and then you wonder what's going on. And you may not notice it if you don't have a strong self-awareness. Let me tell you, awareness is very important. Don't be one of those people that is only aware, you call it discernment, at other people's faults, and you just talk about it, then it's gossip. That's not awareness, that's not discernment, that's foolishness, that's immaturity. Don't be offended. If the Lord is speaking to you, no, no one's calling you out by name. Take it and ask him to help you to change. Amen? Self-awareness. Aware of yourself. Aware of the presence of God. Yes, aware of the enemy if he's around and things are happening. Not to the point where you are... What's that word, Lord? Ah, thank you, Lord. Paranoid. Okay, that's, that's one of the benefits of tongues. When you, when you don't remember something, you pray in the Spirit, and the Holy, <laughs> the Holy Spirit brings it to remembrance. You're going to learn about that uh, in the teaching I did with Diana Larkin. All right? Thank you, God. Yes, not to the point of being paranoid, but being aware and alert, and then how you respond. Many times the way we respond is by not responding at all in the natural, but rather going inward and dealing with things with the Lord who lives inside of you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. He has put eternity in the hearts of men. That's Ecclesiastes. I think it's chapter 3. Maybe someone can find that and put it in the comments. And so the Holy Spirit comes in us when we are born again. Amen. So that's where we go inward. Not for self-exaltation. No. To find the Lord. Because He's right here. So many times, and I'm guilty of this too, we call, oh God, oh God. And we tend to look up and... I, the Lord understands, you know, in a sense, in a sense of like worship, in a sense of um, humility and uh, honor. But in reality, we have to retrain ourselves. I'm, I'm preaching to myself right now. We have to realize he's right here, right here. We have to have that awareness of him always with us, so much so he's in us. We have to let that union come forth and come out. Oof. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit, You're always teaching us. All right, let's, let's go. Be encouraged, people of God. The Lord has covered you. And everything that has come against you, the battle and the grief and the hardship, 
the weariness, the struggle, the trial, the pain, there is a major turning right now. Then decree, decree, the decree of the Lord is that you are coming back 10 times stronger. Now it says here, I believe this is a subheader, stronger in vision and provision. The Lord showed me so many in the body of Christ who have lost their vision because of the things that have beaten them down. There has been a confusion, a discouragement, and a fogginess that has come over them that has left them feeling disconnected from the vision. If that's you, I want to encourage you. Not only is the Lord refreshing your vision for what he has called you to, but I also, or but I saw the Lord increasing your spiritual sight and discernment. Wow, Lord, I receive that. Increase my spiritual sight. In fact, the spiritual sight is from here, <laughs> from within. Remember Paul prays <clears throat> that the eyes of our understanding may be enlightened. Amen? So technically it's not here. <laughs> See, even, even I made that mistake as well. That's okay. That's okay. God is gracious. The Lord is increasing your spiritual sight and discernment to know and discern the times and seasons. Ooh, the anointing of the tribe of Issachar. Yes, God, I receive that. All right. <clears throat> Next. The Lord showed me that the enemy has worked so hard to place confusion over many of you. So you don't know what the Lord is saying or which direction to move in or what's going on. But the enemy has gone, has done that because there's such a significant, a significant increase of vision upon you. There is a significant increase ooh, of the Issachar anointing. Wow, I had not even known that that was coming up. Praise God. There is such an increase of the Issachar anointing upon you to discern the times and seasons. I personally know that this is a part of my walk that I need to grow into. It actually goes with the number 28. I don't know if there's anyone out there that's the Lord specifically, and it's, an, it's a peculiar number, okay? Now, I understand we all see a lot of 111s and 1111s, and you see a lot of double, you know, 22s and triple twos, triple threes and double fours and triple fours and quadruple four. I understand all that, but I'm talking about 28. Okay, not too common, but if there's anyone out there that you do see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's all good if I'm alone in this. I'm sure I'm not alone in the world, <laughs> but 28 is the number that reflects times and seasons. So in Ecclesiastes, chapter what chapter is the lord chapter two chapter three maybe the lord lists there's a time for this and a time for this a time for this and a time for this and it is a list of 14 pairs okay so 14 times two is 28 on top of that whatever chapter it is it's verse two through verse eight 28 look at god amen uh and my birthday actually so happens to be coming up and it is on the 28th of that month um, so I kind of think that's intertwined on purpose I don't think there is a, a a mistake on that <laughs> amen praise the Lord all right thank you Lord the Lord is going to show you more and more in the coming months of what he is doing in this season and what is taking place there will also be significant provision that will be added to you. Many of you have suffered in many areas regarding provision, not just finances. And I felt the Lord say that not only are you coming back stronger in vision, you are coming back stronger in provision. You're going to see the Lord provide for you in every direction, and you will have more coming out of this time of being beaten down than you have ever had. Wow. The hand of the Lord is moving upon your life to usher in significant provision. Next subheader. Supernatural empowerment to run. I also saw 
that where there has been intense weariness, not only will you see that weariness, slumber, and discouragement break, the power of God is breaking through your life. In your life. And you will be given supernatural empowerment to run. This isn't to run ahead of the Lord or to strive. This is a running in the Spirit of God to accomplish more than you have ever before. Oh, Lord, I receive that. I'm getting excited because I, I got I got to speak out. Lord, I receive that. The things the Lord has called you to. The things the Lord is breathing upon. There is a supernatural empowerment to run and defy the natural. Yes, please. I kept seeing a vision of Elijah outrunning the chariot in 1 Kings 18, 46. <laughs> I've done that in uh, a couple of supernatural dream encounters where I was running. I mean, I was running like the Flash. The Lord knows I like these um, superhero movies and shows. So it's always fun when I'm doing something like the superheroes. I mean, it excites me to no end. That's the little, that's the child in me. So I do remember that happening twice in a dream. It is pretty cool. Let me tell you. And I am expecting to do that in the natural, supernaturally, at some point in my walk <laughs> with God. <coughs> Praise God. Weariness and discouragement has beaten you down for so long. But the Lord is decreeing no more. You are going to run in the wind of the Spirit. Oh, thank you, God. There will be miraculous breakthroughs and empowerment to do what you never thought you could. The wind of the Spirit is gaining momentum and velocity, and you will run in acceleration. Ha, Hank Kuhneman prophesied that uh, Wednesday as well. Hallelujah. Will run in acceleration with the Spirit of God into all that He has called you to do. The things you have contended for and interceded over, standing on the promises of God, you are about to see manifest oh thank you god lord i thank you in advance i thank you in advance the cloud size of a man's hand that's in quotes <clears throat> is rising out of the sea in your life it's the manifestation of the breakthrough of god the rain and the refreshment of god the empowerment of the spirit of god to move you into his promises like never before that's more confirmation because God was speaking through Hank Kuhneman as well in that very same word about the sound of the abundance of rain. Next up header, stronger in revelation of the word. The Lord showed me that in your comeback, you will come back stronger in revelation of the word. Where fear, doubt, or discouragement has clouded your ability to see or hear what the Lord is saying and the distraction that has been all around, I felt the Lord say that now you will move into revelation of the word in deeper ways than you ever have. Awesome. The Lord is going to release more and more revelation to you of his word and the power of his word. There will be a significant shift that will take place in the increase of revelation of his word in your life. Your authority will be awakened in greater ways and the roar of the Lord within you will come out loudly. The warrior within you will continue to rise as you see Jesus and his word in greater ways than before. Chains will break at the sound of his voice through the revelation he will release to you. Wow. Subheader, stronger in faith. Where the enemy has worked and where he has worked hard to wear, weary you, wear you down, and the battle has been so intense to hinder your faith, what you are going to see the Lord do in you, through you, and for you in this great divine comeback, you uh, will see your faith increase like never before. Where many of you have found it hard to believe. 
found it hard to keep your hope at times, where it has been such a battle to continue to stand or believe. There is major breakthrough upon you in this divine comeback. Oh, I'm happy for, for many of you because I know at times it has gotten rough and people like myself and of course those who are more seasoned can only do so much to encourage you. You always must do your part as well. But I get it. There are some who perhaps have been in bondage for longer times or perhaps you don't have um, maybe you have multiple tests and challenges going on and it can get very heavy. So, of course, I extend mercy to you, but I must still exhort you to do your part. Amen. So and that's what I've been doing. The Lord is gracious and kind. Amen. Never, never putting you down. This is why I am not here ever to put anyone down, but to encourage you with love that may come out as boldness and as tough love. But does not the word of God even say that he disciplines those he loves? So we must see the love even in the discipline. Amen. All right. The Lord continues. The ways you are going to see the power of God move in and through your life is going to release such faith into your heart again to believe for greater things than you have before. Oh, that's awesome. Sometimes we think faith like, oh, you know, just faith. But we cannot forget that the Lord does things for you in accordance to your level of faith. So, in reality, we need to understand the incredible importance of our faith and how to increase it. Of course, praying in unknown tongues is the shortcut to building up your faith. Jude verse 20 tells us this. Praying in the Spirit, building yourselves up on your most holy faith. Amen? All right, so let's keep going. I saw the Lord releasing the gift of faith in many of your lives through his divine, through this divine comeback. There will be such radical transformation in your heart where fear and doubt used to hide. Now you will be full of faith in Jesus and the word of God. There is a significant breakthrough being released. And the gift of faith bringing significant increase to you to believe and see what the Lord has spoken manifest. The Lord will use you and the gift of faith he releases to you to encourage others and see miracles manifest. Whoa. All right. Last subheader. Stronger in body. The Lord also showed me that many of you have been attacked physically in your body, especially in the last few weeks. I heard the Lord say that in the divine comeback, you will arise stronger in body. Oh, Lord, I thank you for this. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, again, <laughs> keep holding on, people of God, for there is significant healing and miraculous turnarounds in health taking place right now. You will arise again stronger in body by the empowerment of the Spirit of God. Death will break off of you. Sickness will fall away, and there will be a supernatural empowerment of the Spirit of God in your life, bringing restoration to your physical body. Thank you, God. I also saw many who had been attacked continually in their body, not only where were they arising in this divine comeback stronger than ever. Sorry, I think there was a typo there. Not only were they arising in this divine comeback stronger than ever physically, but there was a healing anointing that was raining upon them. Where the enemy had attacked them over and over and over again with physical ailments and sicknesses, the Lord had broken the cycle. And now these very ones were arising with a significant healing anointing. Whoa. Oh, God, yes. Thank you, God. Ha, that's one way to 
to make the devil pay for attacking someone in their body. The Lord blessing them with a healing anointing. Yes, Lord. They were arising with a significant healing anointing and seeing many people healed in their physical bodies when prayed for. Oh, Lord. Yes. Make the devil scream. <laughs> people of God, be encouraged. The Lord is with you. He has seen your cries and struggles. He has seen the battle and he has not left you. He has decreed your divine comeback and it's taking place now. You will come back 10 times stronger in so many ways. Don't let the enemy put fear on you. Don't let the enemy lie to you. Trust in the Lord for all that has come against you. You are now moving into acceleration. Increase momentum unlike anything you have known before. Major opportunities, favor, provision, turnarounds, and miracles. Whoa. What was meant for your harm, the Lord surely, the Lord has surely turned for your good. That's from Genesis 50, verse 20. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Oh, my Lord, that is the amp of Hatarabasedebetanamashandaka. That is the amplified version of Philippians 4.13. And I feel led to read it again. Okay. In the regular versions, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise God. That is true. But the Amplified gives us more depth. Amen? Let me read it again. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things which He has called me to do through Him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill His purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through Him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Whoa, man. I love that. Praise the Lord. That is the prophetic word for this evening. Praise God. I pray you've been blessed. Look down in the description, please, to see how you can follow and learn more about Lana Vosser and her ministry, uh, a wonderful Australian prophetess of the Lord. Amen. Also look down below to see if in case you want to join my free telegram channel. That is where I send daily scriptures, encouragement, prophetic insight. I always let you know when I've uploaded a video just in case the YouTube algorithm or notification system is not working, which tends to happen. Amen. On top of that, uh, many of you get to see uh, inside um, videos that I cannot share on here. Um, I can rank, recommend to you prof uh, the prophetic words that you need to, to watch, videos, etc. And so it's just kind of like the uh, inner circle of the Love Has a Name family. Amen. <laughs> so if you want to join, it's completely free. Check it out. Um, and that's all I have for you for now. Amen. God bless you. Have a fantastic weekend. And uh, if you are seeing this a little bit late, or maybe you didn't realize about the 30 days of praying in the Spirit, it's all good. The Lord knows. He knew in advance you would not know about it. So just start on whatever day we're on. We're on. And you know what? You can always do it at your own pace. You can continue it for October and just use the videos because I'm going to keep... Oh, I'm going to keep the videos online for you. Amen? Praise God. God, I feel the Lord telling me to release something. All right, Lord, what do you want me to release? How about all of it, Lord? How about all of it, Father? <clears throat> hmm, I've never re released this, but the Lord has given me multiple dream encounters and even prophetic words in person. So I'm just going to release it now. The Lord has told me that I would be releasing fire upon people 
in dreams and prophetic words he has given me his fire and lord as your vessel freely i have received freely i give in the name of jesus lord oh lord i release your fire unto the people i release your fire in the name of jesus your holy fire in jesus mighty name lord now i release the anointing i release the presence of god oh overwhelm your people father i release the glory in jesus name and we thank you lord thank you lord Oof, i thank you for the tingles in my fingers <laughs> Praise the Lord. I pray you've been blessed. Please make sure you hit subscribe, turn your notification bells on, leave me a comment, and don't forget to share any of the videos if they've been a blessing to you. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.